All right, hello and welcome to another Expert Inside interview. My name is John Golden from Sales Pop, online sales magazine and Pipeliner CRM, joining you as usual from San Diego. And today I'm delighted to be joined from Dallas, Texas by Yay. Rob Rene. How are you doing, Rob? I'm fantastic, John. How are you? I'm great, great. And Rob, uh, Rob, you grew up as a gifted athlete and runner, keen interest in health, uh, using food and nutrients to fuel your body. Basically, you got hit by a truck and were thrown 36 feet, nearly losing your life and losing your dream of becoming a pres- uh, professional runner, which led you down a path of um, addiction and lack of clear direction. But through God's guidance, you became a researcher on the takeover of our medical system, frequencies and quantum energy. And through your research, you founded the quantum energy solutions that are helping people get off addictive big pharma medication. And you founded QE Strong, a company dedicated to using all natural solutions. And that's what we want to talk about today is is using quantum energy frequencies to help people get and stay healthy. And just um, just a, a casual obs- observation to begin with, uh, with Rob, just about yeah. medication in general. I'm, I'm originally from Ireland and I first came here during the mid 90s, during the dot com era uh yeah and and one of the things struck me very early on because when i grew up in ireland like take allergies for instance right when i was growing up right there was one allergy it was pollen it was hay right. fever people had hay fever that's the only one you heard about very rarely did you hear about anything else um and then when i moved over to america one of the first sales calls i went on with some you know to support some of the sales people one of them at breakfast pulled out this bag full of different medications and started taking all these different ones. And they said, what's that for? And they said, oh, it's from a different allergies and this is for this. And I was kind of stunned because I'd never seen so much medication in one person's bag before. Right, right. And then obviously I've been here. So even from the get-go, I mean, coming to America, and it's probably the same home at home right now, but it just seemed like the default was always medication. Yeah, and it's, it's so amazing to see that uh, – you know, the average senior today, guess how many uh, prescriptions the average senior is on today? Wow, I don't know how many. It's like 12 to 14. Wow. So it's just like just like you said, they, they have this plethora of, of medication that they have to take. And, you know, I blame it on a lot of things. But, uh, you know, I also you know, the, the current medical system is is I call it hijacked in the respect that I think, uh, you know, in the early 1900s, it was taken over. We can talk about that. But the. Right now, people are really specialized. The doctors are amazing. The, the nurses are amazing, but they're they're trained a certain way, and they're trained on a specialty, right? So they may be an awesome heart doctor, and they give you know somebody comes in with a heart problem, they help them with a the heart problem, but that medication may cause three other problems, yeah. right? And, and so then they go say, oh, geez, now I have this problem, so I need to go see another specialist, and then that specialist gives you something to solve that problem. And, you know, like I said, by the time, you know, seniors, the average one's on 12 to 14 medications. It's just incredible yeah. um, what's happened to our society. We'd rather take a pill for an ill rather than trying to find what's wrong with the core of the problem and uh, and help people with all natural help. And that's really my mantra now is, mm-hmm. is uh, you know, with my transformation myself, just getting from very unhealthy, addicted to alcohol and and getting off of of alcohol and realizing that our medical system is messed up. And it's like, (laughs) I need to go back to what I started off my life in as being an athlete and and treating my body correctly and putting the way I was able to perform when I was young is I ate really healthy and Mm -hmm. I knew how to eat healthy to fuel my body. And so I started doing that same thing. And it's, it's amazing what your body can do when you feed it the right things. You get your gut healthy and then yep. everything else uh, you know it goes from there so mm-hmm. it's just, it, uh, it, it, yeah no i i agree and it was always one of the things that also fascinated me with advertising and stuff i mean and and as i i didn't even realize until it was pointed out recently though that it's one of the few countries where drug companies can actually direct to consume or advertise right it's not normal you know elsewhere right. but also you know, I used to notice commercials where it would like say, oh, you, you eat a pizza, you get heartburn. Well, here's a medication that's going to correct that, you know, whatever. And I'm just thinking, well, maybe don't eat pizza. Because, <laughs> you know, no, I'm, I mean, I know that sounds extreme, for, no. but it's like there's something going on here. There's some there's a reason why that pizza's reacting with you. So masking it with something doesn't seem like a very, you know, um, 
doesn't seem like a very intelligent thing to do. No, that's right. It's not a great thing to do. And then unfortunately, our food system has been really compromised as well. You know, like mm -hmm. just wheat, you take just wheat itself. We now have in the United States basically dwarf wheat. Um, and so we can't get real God-given wheat um, mm -hmm. in the United States because it's all been modified. You know, and so uh, to, to wheat, I think, is it, you eat normal foods like a pizza mm -hmm. and, and things like that are is not healthy. And right. so your body just reacts to it and has reactions. And guess what? You should take a pill because your body's not reacting to the to mm -hmm. the pizza. Right. And then, oh, yeah. boy, you know, that causes something else. You better take another pill. <laughs> and you know, that, that's just unfortunately what our what our medical system is. And that's where, mm -hmm. you know, I started doing a lot of research on what's happening and. You know, I learned a lot about my body too. And, you know, I didn't know that our body was made up of energy. You know, yeah. I kind of, you know, through through school, I kind of understood that a little bit. But the more I understood how it can, you know, it, it's made up energy and external frequencies interact with your body, either positively or negatively. Right. <clears throat> That's when so, I found it truly yeah. strong as I was like, okay, we can take positive frequencies and we can, help people with natural solutions that don't that are not drugs that, that don't mm -hmm. affect the body and help you in positive ways so so let me, let, wanna... yeah, yeah let, let's let's get into it uh, because yeah. um, i'm really excited about this let's get into the quantum energy frequencies because they, you know obviously you know to somebody coming cold to it like oh it sounds uh, sounds a bit like you know sounds a bit out there so let's yeah. uh, let's get into yeah. it <laughs> exactly. And I felt the same way early on, you know, because it was like, okay, what, what's a frequency? And I, I was even confused about mm -hmm. that. But literally everything we use today is based, you know, not everything, but a lot of things, frequencies are not strange. They're everywhere, right? You use your cell phone, it's a frequency. You go down the, the you know, the freeway on your car and you turn the dial. What are you turning? You're turning mm -hmm. your radio to a frequency, you know, so frequencies are just everywhere. And then the, the trick is to find the good, healthy frequencies. And then uh, there's also things like positive intention. Uh, one of the research things that I, I had, was fascinated with is Dr. Emoto and his uh, his rice and, and water experiments. Have you ever heard of Dr. Emoto? No, no, no. Please do share. He's fun. He's fun. Just if you go to 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 YouTube and Google Dr. Emoto's rice experiment or water experiments is what he's really known for. But he does these experiments like the one I like is the rice one because he gets three jars of, of rice and has the same amount of rice and same amount of water in each jar. Then he did this experiment for 30 days. He'd take one and he'd say, I love you. And he would literally have positive intentions towards this bottle. And then the middle bottle, he'd say, I hate you. And he would <laughs> swear at it and get, get mad at that particular bottle. And then the third one, he just totally ignored. And after 30 days, it's unbelievable to see the difference. So the one that he actually spoke good intentions to and, and had positive vibrations towards, the, the love one, was basically at the end of the 30 days still white. It still wasn't as near as murky. Mm -hmm. You look at the one that he swore at and had bad intentions towards, and it's just gross. It's just moldy and, and horrible. And then the one he ignored is almost as bad or worse than the one that he, that he swore at. So mm -hmm. it's just fascinating. I'm like, that's just crazy that that your words and your intentions can have a, a physical impact on something else. I was like, right. really? Mm -hmm. And so I didn't believe it at first. And then I went and looked at all the other people who've done the same experiment that he has done and, and they got you know similar results. And then I started researching his water experiments, right. how intentions and and uh, even prayer uh, it can have an impact on uh, the crystallization of of water so right. really and and, and if i'm correct then rob so if we if you take it that i think uh, research has shown that the negative self talk is about i don't know what the stat yeah. is, statistic like 78 79% of what we talk to ourselves all day right. so if you go back to your experiment there we're swearing at each other Eight, we're swearing at ourselves sorry 80 percent of the time, the time. we're you, more likely to end up as the, the murky one yeah and you being a sales professional right you know how important it positive it talk is to yourself mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. like hey you're going into a, a bit really important sales meeting you're like hey we've got to do well you know you 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 think good thoughts and you know things go better when 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 you do that and uh it, it, there's there's a reason why and uh you know, it's it's really fascinating stuff that i really didn't believe i thought it was mm -hmm. kind of woo woo um, but now i'm just a total believer in because i've seen the 
the real life transformations that our products are having on people mm -hmm. that have had conditions for for decades even and right. uh, our products are helping them and it's literally all natural solutions with a, a skin patch that you put on your body that connects mm -hmm. to the energy field in your body and starts helping like really release pain is one of our, wow. our you know marquee products is just yeah. just awesome and and what is the quantum energy piece of it? Just explain that to me. Yeah, so quantum energy is just it's, it's a, just a simple way to explain the frequencies that we embed onto mm -hmm. a, a a patch, and right. we just use that term because people have, are familiar with quantum, uh, the word quantum and and energy. So it's a, it's something like okay, quantum energy. I've heard of that before. What is that? What does that mean? And we just mean it is a, a positive, healthy frequency that we encode onto the ink of a patch. So literally, the, here's an example of a, one of the patches. This is yeah. our pain one, I guess, turn it up. up. These, uh, this is a strip of our patches. And uh, on the ink of that patch has uh, this frequency. And we encode the positive intentions uh, on the frequency as well. And even Bible verses on, onto those uh, the, the patches. So you put that patch on your body and then it connects to the energy system and you have those positive intentions and positive healthy frequencies that are flowing and connecting into your body. Mm -hmm. We did a, a scientific study with the, the EEG technology where you, you put the hats on as oh, yeah. the, the real sophisticated ones are. Uh, this is a simple one that we have that just you, it measures your brain waves. And mm -hmm. we've proven that within five seconds, you can see your brain waves change when you're introduced to these, these wow. frequencies. So it connects really quickly to your body and then starts helping. Uh, mm -hmm. Sometimes it helps right away. And sometimes it takes, depending upon your problem, how difficult your problem is, it might take weeks, it might take days, it might take hours, and sometimes it takes minutes to solve yeah. solve your problem. But it's right. a really exciting technology and it's transforming people's lives. And, and mm -hmm. I, I've now become just a really fascinated researcher on all things all natural health, mm -hmm. right? I want to yeah. I want to help people transform themselves from the inside and do things healthy like you know cold therapy and hot therapy and uh, you know getting vitamin d right mm -hmm. grounding things things that you've heard of before and you're like yeah. oh, i've heard people say those are smart but you know now i'm doing research on why yeah yeah, yeah. How is that helping and, your body it's really yeah. fun and and it's interesting because when you're talking about energy and tapping into energy and waves i mean these are things that obviously you know a lot of eastern medicine yeah. and, you know, for a long time like, i have a great the other time I, I go to I have a great acupuncturist who's Korean uh, and his parents were natural healers the whole way down. Oh, yeah. And, and when you go into acupuncture with him, he just doesn't stick needles in. He taps, he finds your pulses, taps in, and then he taps and he finds, and he can say, yes, there's imbalance in your energy flows, right? You know, if you went into your regular doctor here and said, oh, I think my energy is out of balance here, they'd probably say, oh, here's an energy pill for you. Right, right. Um, and, we just, and, it, and we've just divorced ourselves from the mind-body connection. We have, yeah, and that's that's exactly right. Because the, the our medical system is not set up yeah. for that. In fact, what the, the story I was going to tell earlier, the, the takeover of our medical system, what I call it, is in the early 1900s, the Rockefellers, you know, they owned all the petroleum uh, companies, and they they did they con, uh, had hired a gentleman named uh, Flexner. I can't remember his first name, but he created a report called the Flexner Report. That's very famous. And the report is pretty decent in respect that really kind of analyzed what was going on in the medical field in the early 1900s. And it was very disparate, lots of things wrong with mm -hmm. our medical system. But back then we had about 50% of our doctors were all natural health doctors, like mm -hmm. the Eastern medicine system person that you talked about, right? And natural healers and people that helped us with, with all natural nutrition. And then the other 50% were other doctors in, in specialties, right? In, in different fields, heart doctors, and, you know, so on and so forth. But after the Flexner report, they, they took over the medical schools. They created the, the American Medical Association. And if you didn't go to one of the schools that was funded by the Rockefellers, you couldn't get a, a job. Wow. So all the doctors had to go get recertified in these medical schools that were only funded by the Rockefellers. And then they only taught the curriculum that the Rockefellers approved, which was all based upon pharmaceutical drugs yeah and it wasn't based upon natural nutrition it wasn't based upon your energy system it wasn't based on your energy field it was based upon um, pharmaceutical medication 
And yeah. so unfortunately, that's how all of our doctors have been trained. They haven't been trained to how do you use your God-given natural body's ability to heal itself and give it the right things it needs to to take care of itself. And so yeah. they, the, the other component that I wanted to, to make sure I tell people about, what I think is fascinating, is the, the term quack. I'm sure you've heard the term quack. Oh, yeah, yeah. Right? That term came from that time period where the, all the, remember the 50% of the doctors yep. were all natural health doctors? Well, they went after them literally um, with lawfare and, mm. uh, and they termed them quacks. In the media, it was termed, if you were teaching all natural health, then you were a quack. You can't go wow. get help from a quack. You need to go to a real doctor. Wow. And uh, so it ended up being that none of those uh, doctors could get any patients you know, because the, because of the media and because they were just vilified. Yeah, and 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 that kind of, uh, and you know, and that obviously has translated into today. And yeah. I think the other, the other thing that's I've seen that's fascinating is you know as as the whole medical field has evolved. Now we have all these big like medical groups and all that mostly you know taken over. You can't even get to see a doctor anymore. You're, I mean, you're either pushed off to a PA right. or it's virtual or whatever. And it, it only only in very rare occasions do you actually get to see the doctor themselves. And right. it just seems like more and more you're being pushed away and you're being like templated mm -hmm. almost and said, "Here's what, oh yeah, here." Do this yeah so. based upon the five things you told me then that yeah. means that you have this and yeah. uh you know and good luck and then they try to maybe solve that with with a pill right yeah. and it's it's just uh, instead of looking at a person from a holistic perspective and looking at their whole body because maybe maybe the pain they have in their heart is because of their gut right right maybe that i just literally earlier today was speaking with a wonderful woman uh, who is now a functional medical expert and she, for 10 years, had migraines. And, uh, you know, so she kept going to all these specialists to try to get to help her fix her migraines. But guess what it ended up being? It was her gut. Right. She had, she had an unhealthy gut. And when she when she cleaned up her gut, uh, it, her migraines went away. So yeah. this is like it's it's just wow. It's fascinating. Yeah, because yeah, <laughs> I, I can guarantee you, you go into and, and I apologize to any PAs or doctors who are listening who do do this. So let me put right. That. I, I love the I love my doctors. I love my the nurses. Ones who, yeah, the ones yeah. who do well. But you know, to be honest, there's a lot that if you went in and you would they would give you migraine medicine, they would never figure out the gut part of it because yeah. And unfortunately, they're, they're like you said, they're too busy, right? Yeah, they, have, yeah, yeah. they have so many patients, they don't have time to treat the individual. Exactly. They have this time to treat the, the mm -hmm. symptoms. It's like okay, this person. Here's the five things about this person. This is a history that I've seen. Geez, based upon that, I would I would give them this, mm -hmm. and then then they have to go to the next one. Yeah. Um, and it's just it's just unfortunate. But yeah, what's an example? What's a couple of examples of amazing results you've seen from people? Because I'm sure when people have amazing results, they can't wait to tell you. It's really really fun because it's like all the way from just catastrophic injuries that people have had. Like this one woman, um, she got in, in a car accident and it just obliterated her 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 back so she broke her back in a lot of different places and mm -hmm. was just really in pain and she'd lived in that chronic pain for a long time and she got to the point where she thought okay i'm gonna have to go to assisted living mm -hmm. like i can barely walk i can barely move and uh she had to have people help her all the time right. and uh you know she she saw our product and uh, and got some of our product and she tried it and she's like oh my gosh i feel better and she didn't want to really tell anybody so she just started moving around and doing things that she couldn't do. And she has this little dog named Curly um, and the, the, she wanted to take Curly for a walk. Yeah. So she was able to take her dog Curly for a walk for the yeah. first time in, in years. And so to see that transformation where you're bedridden, you think you're going to hospice, you know, it's, it's just like, and then all of a sudden you get the freedom of your life back, which is so, so cool. But then, you know, most of the, most of them are people that have a chronic problem or an injury right. Mm -hmm. um, that, like a shoulder problem and and it's been bothering them for a really long time and they use our product and all of a sudden they can move their arm again and it's just like they're just so excited it's just a it's really amazing and we have an allergy pro product that you mentioned allergies earlier yeah. on you know and the allergy thing is amazing because people have been on like claritin d for 10 years and then mm -hmm. instead of doing claritin d now they're using our skin patch it's all natural and they have they don't have to take medication anymore because uh, our product works, and so yeah. it's super cool. 
It's amazing. Well, listen, uh, you know, thanks, Rob. This is fascinating stuff, you know, and I really, really encourage people to to check it out, do your research, go check out uh, QE Strong because uh, I'm a huge believer in mind body. Uh, I'm, you know, I mean, there's times when you abs- absolutely need to, you know, medication can be the for answer. Sure. That's for, for sure. sure. We're not saying yeah. that, but there's a lot of other, before you go down the medicate everything, right? There's a lot of other things that you could be doing. So, so fantastic work. So all of Rob's information will be below this video, but before we go, um, maybe just tell us a little bit more about QE Strong and the maybe the range of, of ailments and products you cover. Yeah, sounds great. So obviously we mentioned pain, right? We mentioned allergy. We have an, uh, an anti-anxiety product that's, that's amazing. We have a, one of the biggest problems with COVID, one of the biggest side effects of COVID, I got COVID, you know, was, was brain fog. And so mm. lots and lots, like millions of people now have brain fog. You can use our product, uh, Clarity and Focus, to help you, cl- you know, with Clarity and Focus, and a sleep product, and a premenopausal and postmenopausal. And we have a pet one. The pet one is so cool. It's called Pep and Pain because it gives a dog a little peppiness, a little strength and stamina combined with pain relief. And uh, you put mm-hmm. it on their collar, and the, the animals are are loving it. So it's, it's wow. super exciting. Uh, I must say, uh, right now, that's not what our dog, we just, uh, unfortunately, one of our dogs, our part dog passed away. So we have a, a new one, a rescue. Right now, he doesn't need any. Yeah, he, does, he doesn't, he needs the, he, <laughs> he needs, needs the, the calm other, one. Yeah, if you have a calming one, yeah, he definitely <laughs> needs that one. Yeah. <laughs> I love puppies. That's fun. Yeah, that's yeah, fun. yeah. And he's a rescue, so that's even more fun. Yeah, that's even better. Good. I love it. Congrats. Yeah, Thank you for doing that. That's great. Yeah, yeah, you. yeah. Well, he's fantastic. He's a great mixture of God knows what, but anyway. <laughs> <laughs> like we all are, right? Like we all are, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Well, listen, Rob, thank you again. Thank you all for watching and listening. And I will see you all again soon. Thank yeah, you. Take care. Thank you.